Now we would like to create a 2D construction drawing from this 3D sewer model. Let's do this by creating a sheet file that will automate the drafting for us. I'm going to go to the sheet file editor and to save time I always encourage you to load one of Knowledge Base's sheet files. Let's go to File, Load Sheet File, Desktop. I always keep a shortcut for the Knowledge Base folders. And then I can jump to sheet files and I'm looking to so press S for sewer and I'm going to go to sewer long section. Here you can see we've got two long sections. I just want to keep the bottom one and I want to get rid of the top one so that I can put a plan in this area. So I'm going to select the long section region knowing that that is selected. I can then go and lower this down to about here. And now I'd like this to update. For me to update this, I need to save it and reopen it. So before I save it, I would like to go File, Save As. I want to save this, but I'm going to save this in my project folder rather. So I'm going to go back to the desktop. I'm going to go to Demo. And I'm going to call this Sewer Combo. If I close this now and I go and reload it, you will see that everything updates. So I'm going to go and file, load sheet file, and I can go now it has updated. Now I'd like to go and put a plan region in. So I'm going to go and say draw region plan region. And you can select anywhere on the screen. And now I'd like to align it with the long section region. So I'm going to hover the mouse here and I'm going to press J enter. On this side, I'm going to hover the mouse here and press J enter. Great. Let's just press R. I would like to have the tables for the setting out of the sewer uh, main lines as well as the earth connections. Now you can go to settings, sheet file settings, and you can expand on plan. You'll see that you got the sewer list, list labels, earth lists, and earth list labels all needing to be populated. Now I'm show you a shortcut to this. Uh, it does require you just to concentrate a bit, um, but you can quickly automate this from already created lists. So I'm going to close this now. And I'm going to close this, file, save, I can then close that. And I'm going to go to Windows E. I'm going to go to the desktop, shortcuts, just go to sheet files. Okay, the list that I want is in the plan sheet file. That The plan sheet file holds all the lists. So here you can see plan, and you can see you got the sewer schedule and the earth connection schedule. So I can go and copy that. So I'm just going to go and say copy. And we can just keep that aside for now. So I'll just put this over here. And I would like to go to my um, new sheet file that I've just created. And here's the plan. So where did they place those? They placed those under the curve list. So we can just go here press enter and paste it in there. Now we want to populate the what's inside those two tables that we've just pasted in. So we can go and to the plan one and we can browse down till we get to the sewer. So there's the sewer schedule and the earth connection schedule and that's under the curve list. But I don't think the curve list is in R1 so we can just copy this one copy and that is um, after the drawing list so we can go here and we can go to drawing list and we can just paste that in there we can go and say save close 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 and we can go and say file load that long and load the sewer combo 
there you can see your two tables if, if I press escape once and then right click I go to sheet file settings see your sewer list has all been auto populated the labels have all been populated the, the earth connection list and the earth connection labels has all been populated for you now I hope that's a nice little shortcut to getting your sheet files the way you want them to be um, let's go and create the plan and profiles now so we'll just close this do I want to save it yes and I would like to now select this route before I continue so the easiest for me is to right click over here and I want to make everything unselectable except for the sewer nodes and links I'll then select that route that's just the quickest way to do it let me just zoom it back here okay now that I've selected it I'll now go plot generate I'm going to choose the sewer combo that we have just showed you now I'll do a zeros for this application and I'm going to plot them as dynamic layouts so that they will update whenever there's changes made to the model I'm going to choose Pacific nodes and I'm going to say that choose the upstream node and then the downstream outfall I'll do even changes and here you can bring in other networks to show them in the long section like water and roads for instance you can probably show the road model as well this is the long se section editor we can continue and I'm doing the scale of 1 in 1000 I'm doing an A0 and I'm going to auto define along the alignment I'll do an overlap of say 5 and it gives me the start and the end it then brings up all the viewports for me to use I'll say next and I'll plot the sewer tables There you can see it's plotted all three of them along the route. I see that this uh, table is in the way of our lines. I just want to move it. Okay, it's not selectable. So let's just quickly go and make everything selectable again. And I'll select it and I'll go to modify move and I'll just place it over here the table is still dynamic and linked to your 3d model so if you move anything in your tables invert levels move it around everything in this table will update 